Hi everyone, when we create a tuple, example this one, and this tuple we have two data, one is employee name and age. If I want to access the employee name, I have to pass the index like 0. This will give me employee name. And if I want to access the age of this employee, then I have to access index 1. Now, if we have a program and uh, the place where we are creating this tuple and uh, the place from we are going to access it, those are not near. Maybe in some other module we are accessing it. At that time, it's very difficult to understand like in zero index what we have. Again, we have to refer back wherever we are creating the tuple to understand what data is what index. Now, better approach what we can uh, do is using named tuple so we have to import named tuple from collections and here let's say we wanted to define employee so this this tuple employee tuple we are going to create and uh, with two attribute one is name second is age default value i'm passing as na so once we define this tuple Similar to how we create tuple here in the same same way, we are going to create here uh, this employee tuple. But this time, one benefit what we have is I can access using uh, the name of this uh, attribute. Example, if I'm calling it as employee one, then name then I can access the name of the employee if I want to access age I can access using this attribute name so this way it will be easy to understand like what attribute I am accessing it's not not only just uh, some number like uh, exam, exam 0 1 it's not like that but if you wanted to use 0 1 that also will work But in name tuple, it's better to access it using its uh, attribute name. Then another option how we can create this name tuple is using this make method. So employee dot underscore make and here we can pass the value in a list. So let's run this. So employee 2 also got created, we can access it, say age, as I can see here, say name, name also I can access like this. Now. Sometimes what happens is when we are giving this uh, attribute name, if it is any Python keyword, it will not work. So that time we have to, let's see that error, then we can understand this problem. So class is the keyword. So if I'm, if I'm not going to use this rename part and I'll run this code, this will get error out. See, I'm getting error because class is a keyword. So in this case, when we are not sure about what are the attribute name we are going to pass while creating this name tuple, then better option is we can say rename equal to true so that in case any keyword is part of your attribute name, it will automatically replace with some uh, underscore number. Let's see it. Now you can see this uh, name tuple got created. If I will see the attribute name, so class is the keyword. So instead of the class, it replaces it with underscore one. But at least it will not get any error uh, in this scenario. Now, by default, few more uh, uh, functions method we have here. So if I'll call length length also is working how many attribute we have 
those you can see if i want to convert it into dictionary that also you can do just call underscore as dict this one call this one and see it's converting into dictionary I want to replace some value like name i want to replace here from john i want to replace with jen so with underscore replace i can do that if i call this one it will re it uh, replace the value let's see it and here you can see name got changed from john to jen now all the field name if you want to see then name tuple dot underscore fields I run this code I can see there are two attribute one is called name and age if I want to see the default value so underscore field underscore defaults if I run this I can see this default uh, data which we set up while creating this name tuple so basically when it's it's a little bit better when you are creating tuple instead of creating a normal tuple you can create name tuple so that it will be easy to access and uh, readability point of view or code maintenance it will be easy so thanks for watching